Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. The bad boy of the dating game was good. And listen, I need to tell you this. This is very important. You need to have better experiences with women. Okay? You need to have better experiences with women. What am I talking about here, right? You need to have more sex with women. You need to go out on more dates with women who are cooperating, who like you, who smile in your face, who, you know, who actually want to, you know, uh, do things for you. You understand? You need to have experiences where, you know, girls are blowing up your phone. Girls are hitting you up. Girls are excited to see you. You need to have these experiences. Why? Why do you need to have these experiences? Well, of course, you know, cause it's fun. It's, it's, you know, a cool thing. It's exciting. It's, you know, it's, it, it, it feels good and all this other stuff. But the reason why you need to have these experiences is because if you're not having these experiences yet, or if you've never had these experiences, you are most likely a guy who is very negative about the game, who's very negative about women. You understand? Most of the guys who complain about women is because they don't have enough good experiences with women. They are not uh, the type of guys that women are, are gravitating to. They're not the type of guys women respect. They're not the type of guys women are uh, having sex with. You understand? And so since they don't have these experiences, right, they have sort of a negative outlook, right? So you might be one of those guys who are having uh, these, you know, experiences where nothing's really happening for you. So you lean towards, you know, being negative, about women. You're like, oh, all these girls are bitches. They only want guys with money and looks and this and this and that, right? So if you're that type of guy, you're the type of guy who really, really, really needs some good experiences with women because once you have those experiences, you're going to realize that all of those negative thoughts that you were having were bullshit. It's because you just were in a certain situation and that's how you, that was your perception at the time. You see what I'm saying? Because you're going to have different types of guys. You're going to have guys who have these experiences with women and where everything is, you know, is, is going cool. They're getting girls, they're getting sex. Everything is, is, is on point. Then you're going to have guys who have none of that, right? Now, this isn't to say the guys who uh, are getting sex and get shit going. It's not to say that they don't have some uh, situations that's kind of lame or whatever it is when it comes to women. But the thing is, is that they have, a, a, you know, a different perspective. I mean, they have sort of a balanced perspective because they got experiences that are cool, but also they have experiences that are not so cool. But if you're all the way like on the other end where all of your experiences suck, you understand? This is why it's going to be hard for you to really make stuff happen because you're so caught up in how much it sucks. And so you need to get over to this end where you're actually having better experiences. But how do you do that? You understand? This is, this is, this is the, this is the thing in order for you to do that, right? You have to be willing to step up your game. You understand? It's that simple. This is what I've been saying for years, right? But see, unfortunately, a lot of the guys who don't have good experiences with women, right? They feel like, oh, what's the point? I can never fuck with these chicks. You know, their mindset is on some, some other shit, right? So it's hard for them to get from here to there. But see, once you get over here, once you start seeing or, or, or getting those experiences, you'll start to get more of those experiences and then you'll be in a situation where you're seeing a different side of the game. You understand? So the thing is, for the guys who are, are extremely negative, if you're not really making stuff happen, what you need to do is, first you gotta change that mindset. You gotta be like, okay, well listen, um, I'm gonna stop fucking feeling sorry for myself. I'm gonna actually take action and try to make something happen. Now, what you wanna do is you want to look for the small wins. Like if you if you hardly ever really approach girls or talk to girls, right, because you're scared or because of whatever it is, right, then if you go out and you say hi to like five girls, Use that as a win. Look, I said hi to five girls because I hardly, I have, I've never really talked to any girls at all. Just do that first. Do baby steps. And as you start to continue to make stuff happen, you're going to start to see more and more situations open up for you. You understand what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, if you're extremely negative about this stuff, if you give up, 
if you say, oh, well, it's never going to happen for me. If it's like, oh, I just give up on life and everything is just sucks and no woman will ever want me. If you get into that, you know, if you stay in that space, then shit's not going to pop off for you. You're going to have to change that mindset. See, unfortunately, let me tell you guys some real shit. Let's, 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 let's keep it all the way fucking funky in this motherfucker, right? Listen, some of y'all out there who have these negative experiences or you see those experiences that are negative and you're just like all upset about chicks and all this other stuff. Truthfully, truthfully, some of y'all motherfuckers love that shit. Some of y'all love that shit. What do I mean? Y'all love to complain. Y'all love to be the guy who ain't getting no girls. Y'all love it. Why do you love it? Why am I even saying you love it? The reason why you love it is because that has become your identity. You understand? So you, you're, this is crazy. This is so fucking crazy. It's become so much your identity that you continuously stay in that, that, that mindset because you know that if you were to actually, you know, move away from that mindset and get to the point where shit is happening with women, then you can no longer be that guy. You can no longer be that dude who's, you know, oh, girls don't want me and all this other stuff. But the thing is, you know that it takes work for you to get from here to here. You see what I'm saying? You don't feel like doing that. You just feel like staying over here and just saying, well, you know what? This is my lot in life. This is it. This is all it's ever going to be. And that's that. But this is why I'm saying you need to get better experiences because the thing is, if you're the type of guy who actually wants to change the shit and you don't love being that type of dude, you don't love that to be this identity you created for yourself and you really actually want to get results and actually want to make something happen, you have to switch that mindset and say, okay, what do I have to do to get from here to here, right? And once you get to here and you start seeing those results, right, then you will start to actually go in the direction of getting more of the results here the better experiences. So like I said, if you say hi to five women a day and let's say one of them smiles at you and says hi back, oh shit, a girl smiled at me, she talked to me, she said hi back. I guess it's not all fucking bad, right? I guess, you know, it, I can actually talk to a girl and have a conversation or something, you understand? Next thing you know, you go from that to talking to a girl, getting her number. Oh shit, I got a girl's number, cool, right? That's a small win. You know, maybe she hits, you know, you hit her up, maybe she uh, talks to you, maybe she doesn't. Either way, you did something that you didn't do before. You had an experience that you didn't have before. You see what I'm saying? So now it moves from, oh, I'm getting girls' numbers, now I'm going on dates. So now you're experiencing that. Now you're going from, you know, going on dates, you're having sex. You're doing all this other stuff. So what I'm saying is, is that you start to get more shit going and then you start to get those experiences. But the thing is, you need to have those experiences so you get that different perspective. Because it'd be better if you, let's say, had some really great experiences with women and you had some not so great experiences with women. And then you said, you know what? I don't really, I don't really wanna fuck with these chicks. I'm just gonna do my own thing. But at least you had both experiences to, 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 to see so you can make a, a, a more informed decision on what you're trying to do versus if 99.99% of your experiences were you not getting shit going at all and then you say, well, fuck this, I'm not fucking with chicks at all and period and fuck all of that, right? You don't have anything to really, you don't have no balance to base it off of, off of because you might actually like what's over here with those experiences with, with women, but you're not gonna get there unless you actually take action to get there. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of you guys out there, you know, you're, you're, if you change your mindset, that's the thing that's gonna get you from point A to point B. That's what's going to get you winning in the game. That's what's gonna make you actually make stuff happen. So, you know, I'm just saying this to, to, to let you guys know that, listen, once you have some experiences under your belt and you see some positive shit, you see girls actually gravitating to you and, and wanting to fuck with you, right? You'll have a different perspective of the game. And then once you have that dis different perspective, then you can really see what's going on out here and really see where, where you can go and really see what you can make happen, all right? 
So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com